Hey Chooms, welcome to another GeekJ video where we make tech tutorials and gaming simpler and better. Today I'm thrilled to introduce you to the Ultra Plus Mod Manager, the one-stop app for the Ultra Plus community that turns mod installs and updates into a breeze. We'll demo it on RuneScape Dragon Wilds, but first let's see what it can do. So some of you might ask, why Ultra Plus Mod Manager and not some other mod manager? So installing Ultra Plus mods used to mean extracting zips, hunting down game directories and hand editing INI files. Um, UMM changes all that from Hogwarts Legacy to Cyberpunk 2077 to Dragon Wilds and more on the way. This single application installs, updates and configures any Ultra Plus mod with a few clicks. It doesn't limit itself into Ultra Plus, but I'm only going to demonstrate how to install and set up and edit your Ultra Plus mod only. Uh, another reason is it supported games and uh, features. So UMM already supports Hogwarts Legacy, Robocop, Rogue City, Silent Hill 2 Remake, Stalker 2, Jedi Survivor, Ghost Runner 2, Cyberpunk 2077, Avowed, Dragon Wilds, Wukong, Oblivion Remastered, and more. So it was a mouthful, and I'm glad to see banging titles basically supported so early in UMM's release. That's very surprising. Also, another why is uh, its key features. You can find these listed in the Nexus page, or if you join the Ultra Plus amazing community that I've talked about in so many videos, even in my previous video, you can find it over here or over here pick the side. <laughs> uh, basically, one click install and update from any downloaded zip, whitelisted mod support beyond Ultra Plus, in-game hotkey notifications via desktop pop-ups, light and dark themes, which is really important if uh, you experience eye strain, and customizable game ordering. Uh, version and install path display for every mod and coming soon they're preparing a super user INI editor built right into the mod manager so that's amazing. So let's get started we are going to download the Ultra Plus mod manager from Nexus or Ultra Place Discord don't grab it anywhere else if you want to stay safe and we're gonna run the installer and launch the Ultra Plus mod manager. So let's actually do this. As you can see, you can easily find it in Nexus mods um, and you can read all about this mod manager on their description page. We are gonna go into files and we're gonna click the manual download button. And after this, uh, fast download if you're a premium user, slow download if you're a free user. And after we've downloaded this, we are basically just going to run the installer. I'm gonna click yes on the UAC prompt. It's asking me where to install this. I'm gonna point it in a different directory that I've already prepared. Uh, so let's go here. Next, would you like to install to that folder anyway? Yes. Uh, create desktop shortcut. Yes, please. Click next. Install. And uh, it's as easy as that. Launch Ultra Plus Mod Manager. Yes, please. We're going to click on finish and uh, minimize this window. And as you can see over here, we can select between the themes. I'm going to go with the dark theme and there is a darker theme. So yeah, if you're on a OLED or QD OLED monitor, you're probably going to go with this one. I'm going to go with the dark one. Um, and then we have to pick a game to manage. As you can see over here, we're going to select Dragon Wilds, RuneScape Dragon Wilds. So it's here on the list. It says RuneScape and we're going to click on the initialize button. It's going to ask to navigate where uh, the actual EXE of the game is located. If it's on Steam or Game Pass, chances are it's going to be automatically 
uh, detected just like mine. So I'm just going to click save and move on from there. Uh, and as you can see, it says failed to detect Ultra Plus installation. Please navigate to installed mods and ensure you have installed a copy of U Plus for this game. So we're going to click OK. And as you can see over here, we have three tabs, status, settings and installed mods and currently installed or, or latest, we have nothing over here. So if we move on to installed mods, you're going to see we do not have any version of Ultra Plus installed. So we're going to have to, first of all, download Ultra Plus. And I've done this on purpose to demonstrate the update um, functionality of this um, mod manager as well. So let's actually go into the Ultra Plus webpage and download the Dragon Wilds Ultra Plus version. Okay, we're gonna go again into files. I'm gonna have links in the description below. I don't know why it's everything goes down there. And uh, we're gonna go into files, and as you can see. 0.2.3 is listed as the latest version, but it is not the latest version. So let's see how the Ultra Plus Mod Manager will uh, do if we download an older version. So I'm going to go with uh, manually download. So we're going to click in the actions button, install, and we're going to be treated uh, by this little uh, Windows Explorer window. And we have to navigate to the location we downloaded uh, our version of Ultra Plus. So I have this downloaded from the Ultra Plus Discord server and this is from the Nexus server. And just to be safe, if this doesn't work, I have the latest version downloaded from Discord. So I'm going to select the one that we just downloaded from Nexus mods. I'm going to click open. And it says, are you sure you wish to apply the specified update? I'm going to say yes. Would you like to preserve your settings file? I'm going to say no. Update has been applied successfully. And as you can see, 0.2.3 is apparently listed as the latest version. So if we go over here and uh, click on this version, we're going to see that it unfortunately doesn't detect any newer versions. So we have to manually basically update this. If we go back to installed mods, we're going to go with install and I'm going to select the 0.2.4. Yes, preserve settings, no. And we're going to click OK. I think the status changes to an exclamation mark because it probably reads the latest version from the Nexus page and it cannot detect um, where this is coming from. But yeah, this is from their own Discord. So we're going to go into settings. And as you can see over here, we have access to basically every setting possible and it's so much easier than hunting down the INI files to manually find you know where it's located and how to set this up and all that stuff so configuring everything through a GUI is a lot easier and more intuitive in my opinion and uh, to tweak any settings we just head to the settings tab and uh, every ultra plus parameter bloom color grading frame gen lives in this intuitive interface uh, we can change values and then click save and uh, we can launch the game from over here as well and uh, umm writes our ini behind the scenes we don't really have to do anything if you think that some settings are not being applied you can just press f12 while in game and it will uh, reload your ini settings into the game at that moment so let's go on ahead and i'm gonna go with a low bloom disable chromatic aberration i'm gonna turn off the color grading of the game as always i am going to enable the dlss frame gen if you're wondering why you can check this video over here up there um denoiser depth of field 
fog i'm going to enable this um let's see load distance don't think i wanted to do anything else except for turning motion blur completely off reflection bias everything else i think i'm gonna leave it as it's in the game settings and then completely turn off the sharpness and vignette so i'm gonna save and we can launch the game so we're gonna go into our settings video as you can see everything is as we had left it from our last video i'm gonna click on play and join my solo created world over here just to confirm that the settings have been applied and by the looks of things i think we have success ladies and gentlemen we can uh press f12 and uh, yeah there's no change over here but i do uh see the difference we're not uh getting blinded by the immense amount of bloom and the color grading is a lot better so yeah there you have it as simple as that So that's Ultra Plus Mod Manager in action. Install, update, configure all in one place. Say goodbye to folder digs and text edits forever. If you found this helpful, smash that like button, subscribe and click on that bell to never miss another GeekJ video ever again. And if you want more GeekJ deep dives, don't forget to join in. We upload almost every week on Fridays. And also, don't forget to join Ultra Plus Discord. There's going to be a link in the description below for fast support. And I'm going to see you guys in the next video. Thank you for joining. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.